everyone, welcome to another hour of English class brought to you by Verbling.com. So many people connected to Verbling.com, people from all over the world working together, working hard to improve their English. And I am so happy to be here to help the English students improve their second language. My name is Jeff Watson, and I am from Vancouver, Canada. This hour, we are going to be using materials produced by Voice of America. This is a public broadcaster from the United States and this hour will be a good class for beginner students because we have written materials to read and understand and we also have videos to watch where you will be able to see the person's face as they are speaking. They will be speaking slowly and clearly and on the video you will also be able to read the words as they are saying them. All three of the things that you need to help you understand someone when they are speaking. And so what I would like to do is to ask people right away please could you download the document this will allow you to read the text clearly. It will also allow you to copy and paste words into an online dictionary or into an, uh, an online translator to help you understand the vocabulary. And uh, we are also going to be using some of the tools in the class. So as always, we ask that people keep their microphones muted, turned off. You can also access your microphone below your video image. And I am going to be showing hopefully two YouTube videos. And so you can watch the video by clicking on the YouTube app application or you will be able to watch the video because I will post the YouTube link that you can click on in the Verbling chat box. All right and so I'm going to turn off the screen share and let's get started with this class because I've got lots of information for everybody. And oh, we missed somebody. So, uh, Johnny, are you there? Yes, teacher, I'm here. Yes, hi. Uh, please, uh, where are you connecting from? Um, I'm connecting from Colombia. Okay, great, Johnny. So All right, and I'm I, yes. I'm I'm from Colombia, but sorry, right now I'm living in Panama. Excuse me. Oh, okay. No, great. Thank you. Okay, and so we have lots of reading and watching to do this hour, and so Johnny, could you please read the title of our first uh, article, hello. our first report? Okay, teacher. Yes, we can hear you, Alejandro. I'll, I'll come back to you in a minute. Okay, I'm, I came to start? Yes, please, Johnny. Medical school in three years instead of four. Okay, good. So this is what we're talking about. Okay. And I, I'm asking all of the students to please ask if they have questions. So this is a recent story from January 24th of this year. So could you please continue, Johnny? Okay. Adapted from the radio program broadcast 24 January 2013. Okay, well, let me help you with that, Johnny. Uh -huh. So, it doesn't matter how the date is written in English. We have one way 
there are, are several ways to read the date, but in this case, I would say the, uh -huh. so I'm just going to move this back here, the 24th okay. of January 2013. Ah, okay. okay. And so well, this I, is. I'm forgetting that. <laughs> no, no, it's fine. It's fine. But uh, I, okay, I no do worries. say to students that I think for native speakers of English, if you don't use the correct word, which is not 24, it's 24th, it is a little 24. confusing. Ah, uh, yeah, no, it, yeah. It, it, it is very, very hard to me. Always I, I, I'm doing errors with that. No, no, I, I totally I, understand. I, yeah, the 24th to see, of January. Okay, so I'm going to continue with the, with the, okay. with the story. Okay. Medical schools in the United States traditionally require four years of study. Now, a small number of universities are offering three year programs. Finishing medical school in three years means new doctors could begin their careers sooner. The reduction of a year could also save up to 25% of the cost. That will decrease heavy student loan debts for some students who borrow money to pay for their education. Okay, great. I'll get sorry. I'll get you to stop there. Thank you. And just let okay. me help you with debts. The B is completely silent. So debts decrease and careers. All right. Okay. And so what I would like to do is to ask people now to explain some of the information in the text that we have just read. And so what I'm asking is everybody <laughs> to participate, please. And if you can just point out one important sentence or something that you understood to be interesting or uh, important. Uh, I'm interesting about the disease and the curse yeah. about the Americans. Yeah, okay. Medical now, school is very yeah, interesting. Now, what, yeah, good. And so what, what I'm asking is for uh, any one of the students to just turn on their microphone and point out one piece of information. Mm, I guess the... Yeah, the so, so one, yeah? Sorry. Oh, oh no, yeah. sorry. Uh, Pedro? Yeah, okay. The, the sentence when he says finishing medical school in three years means you know, that doctors could begin their career sooner. That's really important because if there's lack of doctors in ah. the healthcare, so we're going to have more. Okay, good. Pretty soon. Yeah, excellent. All right, that's a good point. I think that there's a lack of doctors in a lot of places. Yeah. So you can train them more quickly. Good point. And could someone else please point out another piece of information? And again, I'm sort of waiting for students to participate. I will help you. Actually, actually um, yes. I, I missed. Yeah. I missed. Mm -hmm. I missed the point. I don't know. Uh, oh, okay. So, yes. All right. So, so, could someone please review what the point is of the article? Uh, it's about the time uh, yeah, of sorry, the American. Go ahead, Alejandro. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's, uh, it's speaking sorry, about Alejandro. That. Sorry, I'm just going to get Alejandro to speak now. Okay, I think the point is about the how long it take in the United States to study medicine, right? Yes, good. Now, traditionally, uh, what is it? Four years. Good. Okay, but what's happening now? In some in some university, uh, there is program to three years. Three years. Okay, good, yeah. great. So Here in my country, it's required seven years of study. Oh, well, no, but this, this would mean medical school is after four years of university. Yeah. And, and so, so it's they. Seven. So yeah, it's seven. So, 
also, yeah. So it, it used to be eight, and now sometimes uh, they're, they're going with seven years total. So, yeah. Okay. And what are, what's another benefit? So, um, uh, sorry, it's Pedro said we can allow the doctors to start their careers sooner with the three-year program. What else have they talked about? What is the other benefit of a three-year program versus a four-year program? Since the, the program has been reduced in one year, you're going to save the money of that period. You should need to, to teach yeah. the students, pay yeah. for uh, the teachers. So if you don't have that, that, uh, then that another year, you don't need to, uh, you're going to save uh, money. Right. Okay. So you're going to save up to uh, 25%. And, and that's big money yeah. because people, uh, students, medical students, have to borrow a lot of, have to borrow a lot of money and they are in debts. They are, sorry, they are in debt. They have a lot of student loan debts. People understand those words? Yeah. Okay, so they have borrowed money to pay for their education. So let's keep reading here. And um, I'm just trying to think. I started with Johnny, so I'll go to uh, 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 Jose. And just if I can ask people to please keep their uh, microphones muted for us. Okay. If, if, un unless you're speaking. Jose, are you there? Yes, teacher, I'm yes. here. Uh, hello, welcome. So could you read this for us, please? School offering three years programs include the Texas Teach University, Health Sciences Center, and Mercer University in Georgia. New York University in Manhattan is also testing a three-year year program. Okay, and just uh, let me help you with tech. This tech. is from technology, so tech. Mm -hmm. Tech. That's how we pronounce it, like a K. Could you continue, please? At NYU, 10% of the nearly 200 students who entered the school entered? entered the school of medicine last fall were chosen for the new program. A student can change to the four years program if the faster one is too difficult or too much pressure. 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 It's like an S H sound. Shh pressure. Pressure. Okay. Excellent. And difficult. Alt. Difficult. Dif difficult. Okay. Diff. Like the word if in English. If. Difficult. Difficult. Perfect. Okay. And so, um, yeah, I, I thought that uh, they're, they're talking about the fact that many universities are starting to offer this three-year program doing some testing to see if it works and selecting 10% of the students to try the shorter program. Uh, what, what are they talking about here? I, I thought this was interesting. Could somebody put the information that's in the green text there in their own words? Uh, me, teacher. Yes. Go ahead, okay. please, Johnny. Uh, I think that when one student cannot to continue the program, uh, this student could change her matter. Okay. Yes. Her care. He, to, to, uh, the student. But sorry, to change student. from what to what? Uh, for for example, uh, one student is studying medicine, but if, 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 if this student uh, looked at this care is difficult 
to continue, he can change, I don't know, maybe system or another chaos. Uh, okay, now that's that's a possibility, Johnny, but sorry, uh, it doesn't quite say that. It's talking about something different. Can I, can I uh, say? Well, uh, sorry, but I, I, I would like to get another student to speak. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. No, no, wait a second. Alejandro? <laughs> yep. Yeah, okay. I think sorry. it's when... Your the voice is similar are... to Johnny. <laughs> so go, yeah. go ahead, please, Alejandro. Okay, I think it's when the students are ready for making it more faster or they need to do it more faster, they can change it for uh, less time to, to study, I think. Oh, and no. there is not four years, maybe three or two. Oh, well, okay. Exactly. Now, so excellent. So, yeah, they, they, uh, they're not talking about two. But they are talking about going from four to three. Okay. Yeah. So this is the benefit of this general topic. Should universities allow doctors to take an intensive program? It's, it's faster. It's more difficult. Uh, but they will be able to finish in three years instead of four. Now, what you said was great, but it actually is not what they were talking about here. <laughs> Not exactly. Kind of the opposite. So could someone else try and explain the idea that's in this text here? Yes, yeah, if the, the three year is too difficult and you're feeling too much pressure, like you have yeah. too many courses, you can't uh, deliver all the tests on date, then you have the option to go back to the four year program. Yeah, great. Okay, so what they're saying is if a student chooses to take the intensive course of three years, but it's too difficult and there's too much pressure, they can change back into the slower four-year program. So yeah. they, they won't just fail them and kick them <laughs> out of the school. All right, so that's the idea. Great, great. So let's keep uh, reading here. And uh, I'm just trying to think of, of where we were. So, uh, Pedro, did you do some reading for us or no? Not yet. Yeah. yeah. Could you do? Could you read this, please? Okay. Arthur Kaplan is a bio, bioethicist. Bioethicist. Correct? Yes. Good. Bioethicist. He leads the uh, the division division of medical ethics at NYU. He studies the current system of American medical education dates back to the early 20th century. An American doctor named Simon, Simon Flexner studied the German model of medical education. The Germans divided it in two years of science and two years of supervised clinical work with patients. American medical, American medical schools caught with the model. Okay, and I'll, I'll get you to stop there. Thank you. And so, all right, what, could, could somebody please describe what is the early 20th century? Like 2001? Uh, now, it's, it's, now, see, this, this doesn't necessarily make sense, does it? So, the 20th century... 1900. Yeah, started from 1900. Excellent. Good. So the 20th century is actually, yes, beginning at 1900. Thank you. <laughs> so the early 1900s. And they copied it from Germany. They copied the system from Germany. Okay. And so uh, let's move on. Um, but I wanted to uh, just ask people, what was the, the German system was divided into two, two halves, two sections. What did the doctors, the medical students study? Two years of science and then two years of the supervised clinical work. So okay, they, great. They only studied the the arc is is the right to arc uh, oh, oh is a theory good theory. yes yeah and then they go to the practical classes 
Okay, so two years of scientific theory, and then they start working with patients. Clinical work. That means it's right in the hospital. Yeah. Okay, good. So let's, let's just keep that in mind as we read this. I'm just going to move this down. And if I could get... Uh, Zhang, are you there? Hello, sir. Yes, hello. How are you? Could you please read I'm this for us? Yes, I can. But Arthur Campton, but Arthur Campton said today, medical students should be spending this time in the classroom and uh, more time gaining, gaining experience in modern medicine. After medical school, most new doctors spend at least three years working in residences in hospital. For a training for special specialty 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 areas can take much longer. Okay, great. Thank you. So, um, so what what are we talking about here then? What is the we, opinion of Arthur Kaplan? Arthur Kaplan. The other components say um, the traditional way should be changed. Good. Students should pour more attention to pour more attention to practical practical experience. Good. In more than. <laughs> yes, excellent. Gaining more practical experience. Fantastic. Okay. And what about the information at the end? Could I ask another student to talk about what's, uh, what information is in the final paragraph here? Anyone can turn on their microphone and point out what they're talking about. Yeah, because even though you're, you got the degree on medical school, you still need to practice a lot more to actually be a good doctor. Good. So they take at least three years working in residences. It's like yeah. Brazil has the same, same thing. It's exactly the same yeah. thing. Yeah, great. And then, but just be careful with practice uh, because in English, uh, a doctor or doctors practice medicine it means that they do it so they're not just doing something to get better at it like practicing music <laughs> uh, so uh, what what they would say is it's sort of training or okay. they're they're still studying yeah but but good so then four-year degree then you get into medical school so it's either four or three years more then you work in residencies for three years more and then if you have a specialty uh, then you need to do additional training so it's a pretty incredible how how long they uh, study for how long they learn okay but of course it's it, they they have to keep learning and perfecting their skills for their entire careers so what I'm gonna do now uh, and I just want to remind people that we have the document so I really recommend that students uh, get the document I'm going to put it into the um, I'm sorry the Verbling chat box one more time if you open it up on your computer and what we're going to do now is to watch the YouTube video of this report and so I'm going to paste the YouTube video in the chat box and I'm going to turn on the YouTube application and play the video for those of us who are in the Hangout.
And so here we go. Oh, sir, I finished that video. Yes, good. So have we. And so, um, uh, any comments, any final comments from people about that story? Would you feel comfortable uh, getting help from a doctor that had studied for only three years? Yeah. I have a question for you. Yes, okay, Zhang? When yes, okay. when when I am watching the video, should I see the script? Yes, uh, and now just quickly, Zhang, we're we're hearing an echo from you, so see if you can use headphones or to pause or turn off the verbling feed. Uh, this is something that I have done to practice my Spanish. So I don't necessarily, uh, you can listen and read, and when you're better at it, you can listen and repeat the words because I think that's excellent practice for your pronunciation. Copying, trying to listen more than read, but you're listening and trying to copy her pronunciation because it's very slow and her pronunciation, like mine now, is quite exaggerated. And so it's good practice. So I, that's a great idea. Thank you. Okay. Yes, teacher. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. You give me a good adv advice. Okay. You're a good teacher. <laughs> Thank you. 
Uh, so what I would like to do now is to go on to another report, another article that is uh, has a very similar topic. And uh, I hope that uh, we'll get uh, a little more practice with some of the same words and phrases. So we're talking about shortening law school. And so uh, if I can bring the screen share, uh, the document up on the share screen. And uh, let me see, where were we? Uh, Zhang was just reading. And so Antonio, hello. Hello, Yev. How are you? Fine, fine. I, I had some troubles with the connection, but now it's solved. OK, great. So could you please read the title of our second report? Yes. And if you have the document, it's the second article down, Law School. Law in School two in two years. Great. OK. So again, this is very recent from the 21st of March uh, this year. So could you go ahead, please? Sorry, Antonio, are you there? Yes, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm opening now. Oh, OK. Yes. Uh, can you hear me? Yeah. Recently. Uh, recently, recently, uh, recently, we, we told you. Sorry. Recently, we told you how some medical schools in the United States offer future doctors, doctors a way to finish in three years instead of four. Some low schools also offer a way to save a year. Okay, great. Go ahead, please. Yeah. People who want to become lawyers traditionally attend three years of low school. Like medical students, many low students are deeply in debt by the time they finish their juris doctor or GD degree. Those who take out loans borrow an average of around uh, $100,000. Okay. And J, JD. JD. The, the degree. All right. So yeah. any, any comments about this? This is exactly the same situation. And, of course, we just listened and read the report, listened to and read the report about medical schools. Does, does anybody have um, a reaction to this information here? Yeah, I didn't know the, the amount of money that students need to take uh, to borrow for their, student, for their degree, and that's a lot of money. Yeah. And again, remember, they've gone to university for four years already. And so this is an additional three years to become a lawyer. And so, yeah, it adds up. We were talking about college costs uh, last night in a, in a class. Very, very expensive in the United States. Okay, so let's continue on. Hanin, are you there? Yes. Hi. Oh, well, welcome. Uh, could you please read this for us? Okay. Which, uh, yeah, from where starts, can I begin? Yeah, it starts with almost all graduates. Almost all graduates must pass the state bar uh, ex examination. Examination to get. Examination to get a, la a license. License to practice. License to uh, practice law. New York University Law School. Uh, pro professional. Professor. Professional. Professor. Professor. Uh, his, his name. Sorry, are you there, Hanin? 
Hello, Hanin. Okay, I sorry if we've if we've lost her. Johnny, could you please continue with Samuel Erkdister? <laughs> I don't I don't know how to say that name. Uh, can you can you tell me? Yeah. So, when I I can start. So it's here at Samuel. Samuel. Okay. Yeah. Wow, I don't know this last name. No, let's let's skip it. Samuel E. Thinks more students should be allowed to take the bar exam after two years of classes. Continue. Yes, please. This was more common in the past. This was more common in the past. Supreme Court Justice yes. Benjamin Cardoso and President Franklin Roosevelt both took the bar exam after two years. Professor E <laughs> also suggests a more professional instead of a more academic program of study. Learning more about professional skills. No, learning more about professional skills. He says, will better prepare a lawyer to serve the needs of average Americans. Okay, good. Thank you. Let me help okay. you with academic. 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 This and, I have a question. Yeah. Justice. Hey. Yeah, but sorry. Go ahead. Yeah. Okay, uh, I don't know when I need to use accent in a word. For, well, for example, yeah. yeah, academic, I don't know, academic. Is the yeah, no, I understand what you mean. I think in English, really, you need to learn the words individually. Ah, because okay. I, I personally, I don't think that there are any rules to help you to de determine where the accent is. Okay, and justice, that's right? Justice. Justice, okay. Yeah, great. Okay. okay, and then, so they're saying that it's okay to take the bar exam. This is, the bar exam is what they, it's what they call the final exam that will allow a lawyer to practice law. So we talked about this verb with doctors. Doctors practice medicine and lawyers practice law. That is not to get better at it. That, that's what they do. That is the verb to, to do law, is to practice law. Okay. Some famous, pres, uh, some famous Americans took the bar exam after only two years. Okay. And what do you think he means by more professionals study, uh, studying professional skills rather than academic study. What, what do people think? Uh, to tell you the truth, I'm not really sure what he means by this. What do you think? I think it's uh, more, more experience with, with the real world. Oh, oh, okay. So more sort of practical skills. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Not always what you see on universities. What happens on the mm -hmm. world? Yeah. Good. Okay. And and uh, providing service maybe to people rather than just studying the academic information. Yeah. yeah. And to serve the needs of average Americans. Okay. Good. So let's let's continue with some reading here, and or at. Uh, 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 Jose. Some read. Yes, please, Jose. Some law some, schools. Some law schools offer a choice of a two or three years program. In twenty in twenty nine sorry, uh, we really only have the one option of two thousand nine in this in case. Two, in two thousand nine North Swiss what is Northwestern? Northwestern University School of Law in Chicago became the country's first top 
allow schools to add an accelerated program. Accelerated students at Northwest Northwestern have to learn the same material and pay the same price as three year students. Okay, good, thank you. And so could could people you can ask about vocabulary, but I, I thought there was some interesting information here. Could somebody point out some of the important sentences, some of the important information here? Turn on your microphone and say, hi, Jeff, I have a comment. I, I asked so, ask the teacher, yeah. what uh, does it mean, accelerate? Yeah, good. Well, to accelerate means to go faster. And so an accelerated program is faster. It is sped up uh, because we're talking about finishing law school in two years rather than in three years. Yeah, but uh, a important thing that they say at the article is that even though you're making a three-year program, uh, two program, you still have to, to pay the same price as I the know. two year. So. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, yeah, that, it's not as good as, yeah. as saving that money, but you, you can start practicing law a year sooner, so I guess that will help you, but, mm-hmm. Yeah, and you need to learn the same material. So you have two years to learn the same material as the other students. So it is, and we also use the word intensive program. Okay, good. So I guess the law school um, of the, uh, sorry, Nor Northwestern University is a top law school in the United States. And, uh, and so they're the, the first ones to offer this in terms of well-known law schools. Okay, and see if I can, oh, we're at the end here already. So what, what we'll do is just ask uh, the next person. Patty, are you there? Hello, Patty? Okay, so we can't hear you, Patty. Pedro, could you please read this for us? Yeah, okay. Some lawyers argue that argue against accelerated programs. The question whether many law firms will want to hire lawyers without that third year of law school. Okay, and could somebody point out the important information that's in this paragraph? And maybe Where, yeah? companies don't don't they think a two two year program study lawyer doesn't have as much as knowledge as the three years, so they don't know if they should hire the two year lawyer. Good. And so we say a law firm yeah, which law firm. essentially is a, a company that, that provides legal services. So a law firm may not want to hire these students. So okay, good. Excellent. All right, and so now what I'd like to do is to play the video for everybody so we can put it all together. And again, uh, if you can follow Zhang's advice to listen so you can focus on watching her face or you can focus on listening or you can read and listen. <laughs> Uh, or you can listen and try to repeat the words immediately after hearing her speak. I think all of that is a great way to uh, practice your English to improve your English. I want to practice. Uh, okay, good. So, Patty, you can listen to the video. You can click on the video. It's... Uh, in the Verbling chat box and um, sorry and or watch the YouTube video with us in the Google Hangout. 
Okay, thank you. So, sorry, I just lost the... Just give me one more minute. Sorry, I lost the uh, link there. Okay. Okay, great. And so welcome to some of the new people who have joined the class. And uh, so now we've got, we've got 10 minutes to get some comments from people. And so we can talk about doctors, we can talk about lawyers, we can talk about the cost of going to university, and we can talk about perhaps I don't think there's a shortage of lawyers in the world. There's, there definitely isn't a shortage of lawyers in Canada. I think there are too many of them. But uh, there is a shortage of, of doctors, perhaps. And, and so, uh, and just, hello, uh, Felix, I'm sorry, but you need to keep your microphone muted, please. Turned off, please, to, so that we avoid the, the sound coming from it. So, Zhang? Do you have a comment for us about training to be a doctor or a lawyer? What's what's your opinion oh, on this? Sir, oh, you decided to ask me to answer the question. It's my pleasure. In the past, I am the last one. Today, we I become the first person. <laughs> I am very happy for this. <laughs> okay. 
and in my opinion, and doctors and lawyers are good jobs in American, in America and Canada. The two jobs can earn a lot of money. But uh, the two jobs is uh, very important for many people. The two jobs should uh, be trained professional. Okay. Trained mm. very professionally. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay, the no, best good. way the best way of training this person is to practice. Yeah, to to actually do it. No, thank you. Great. And I, I'm gonna oh, move on. You and, and must say... finish in my talk. <laughs> you should give a chance to other students. <laughs> no, no, thank you. And I know, so I know. uh Uriel, Thank you. Thank you. Uh, are you there? Hello, teacher. Yes, hello. Uh, have you seen enough of the article uh, to have a comment? Mm, uh, I think these laws uh, are, are important, but don't know things for foreign students? Uh, for foreign students? Yes. And, and no, sorry, what is your question uh, of something about foreign students? Is uh, extra 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 heroes, extra heroes students? No. No, 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 no. Sorry, I understand foreign students, but what what about them? Because um, I, I they didn't for, mention for foreign students in the in the article, but I'm I'm sh I'm not sure what your question is. Or, uh, or your statement. Yes, yeah, yeah. Oh, well, go, go ahead, please, with your comment. Mm, I, I think the laws is very important. Very important for, yeah. for, for countries. Oh, oh, okay. No, thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Law. Okay. And thank you. And, and Samir? I just came to class. I followed the last uh, the last uh, uh, article. Yeah. But I think it is important to the government to take care about the system of uh, university, uh, specifically the lawyer and uh, doctors, uh, and uh, to give him a uh, many I don't know, I can see, uh, practice. practice. To give them a lot of practice. Yes. Now, now we have to be careful here. Sorry, because in English, and and yes. people can talk about this. Where I'm trying to think of an example, where if you are playing the guitar, you're playing music, you're playing a song, but practicing yes. the guitar would be going da 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 da. You understand? You're doing something to learn. <laughs> okay? You're not actually playing the guitar, you're practicing. And this is what we say in English almost all the time. So you you if you're practicing a sport, you're doing something, you're just doing one part of the sport. You're not actually playing the sport. But in medicine and law, when you're practicing it, you're doing it. And yes. and so, what did you mean, Samir? They 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 need more training, or yes. they need yes. to be able to practice law sooner, which means to actually do it. I I think after the academic uh, of uh, uh, studying, they have to take uh, a training uh, at least uh, one year to to get more experience because oh, the yeah doctor they uh, doc, uh, not like uh, admi the administrator or accounting the doctors okay, and yeah. they need uh, more uh, training uh, additional to, training yeah and we were talking training. about the fact that 
doctors usually do three hours of residency. Yes, so, yeah. it's different Great. between academic uh, studying and uh, the real, uh, the real, uh, uh, the real, the real studying, uh, and, and in this case, practicing. You yes, begin practice. to practice law. You begin yes, to practice different. medicine, which is actually doing it. Yeah. Good. Thank you. Yes. And Thank you. Lam, are you there? Hello, Lam? Hey. Hey, you're not there. Well, he's he's trying yeah. to turn on his microphone, but I, I'm going to move on. Uh, uh, and so, uh, uh, Jose, a comment from you, please. The, yes, teacher. Um, I comparing uh, with an uh, article uh, in my country, um, the program medicine uh, uh, allowed you uh, um, last five years. Good, okay. No, three years. Uh, that's five years. Okay, good. Normally. Yeah. So now, but in the United States, the people are going to university for four years first, and then they're going into either law school, three or two, or medical school, either four more or three more. So, yeah, great. Thank you. And uh, I'm just going to see if, uh, well, I'll, I'll move on. Johnny, uh, a, a comment from you, please. Of course, teacher. Um, okay. I think that when, uh, for example, I'm starting the university right now. So I'm going to, to study engineer in information, I don't know how to, how do you say that in English? Yeah, uh, system, well, you know? Yeah. Okay. Um, sorry. But, uh, but, but keep going. Yeah. You're you're going to go into <laughs> university. Yeah. Systems yeah, engineering exactly. or yeah, exactly. yeah. Okay. Information um, technology. Yeah. This afternoon, I was asking the university about uh, these these careers, and the information was you can. To to do you you train to do your training in okay. three years, <laughs> just okay. three years in engineer. When uh, three or four years uh, ago, you needed to do five years. Oh, okay. Five years in the same training. I think that the student needs needs to needs to, to have a, a good skills. Or to do one engineer, or to do your your training, because it's very very complicated when mm -hmm. you are studying and studying. Uh, okay. Yeah. yeah great. Uh, yes. Okay. Thank you. Uh, they're shortening okay. the the training, though. Yeah. 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 And and Felix, hello. How are you? If you can click on the microphone to turn on your microphone. Hello, teacher. Yes, uh, where are you connecting from? Uh, I'm engineer teacher. Yes, I'm, gradu uh, I'm graduated to engineer, industrial engineer. Okay, right. And uh, where are you from? I'm from the Dominican Republic. Okay. And so do you have an, uh, a comment about what we were reading or listening to? The training of doctors and lawyers? So we've we've just lost your sound, Felix. So I, I'm I'm sorry, Felix. We we can't hear you. Is your yeah? I, I'm sorry, Felix. I, I'm going to go on to uh, a, a final comment from Antonio. And it's time again for another verbling. <laughs> Are you there? Yes, sorry. Yeah. Uh, I was think I was thinking is uh, it's better um, it is it's a problem to short 
their careers. Uh, I think it's to it's shorten. Because, to shorten, yes, because uh, the the quality. I I think is is better uh, to share the cost if this is a problem. And yes. Low the, the cost. Yeah. Then okay. uh, you know. I think. Then then to shorten the 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 degree the the program. Yes. Okay. All right. Great. Excellent. So thank you everybody. Uh, great work. Uh, we got through both of those articles. That was perfect. <laughs> so well done. And uh, remember, you can come to my Facebook page if you have specific topics that you would like to read about or listen to or talk about. So I hope to see you soon in another class. See you next, teacher. Thank you. Great class. Thank you, teacher. Remember, study hard. You can't learn English in just three years. It takes four years. <laughs> Bye.